Hey makers, Max here. So back in 2019, I made a video where I showed you guys how to make a simple RC car from cardboard. Those of you who recreated the car found the steering mechanism a bit sketchy to get right due to the way I had made it. As well as the overall cardboard car, well, turning out really flimsy. That was the age of cardboard, right? This is where I sought improvement by making a more solid steering mechanism with self-centering capability, more steering torque due to higher gearing, all in a solid unit made from PVC pipe, and still implementing one of those toy DC motors. So that said, let's get on to making this simple but efficient RC car steering mechanism. Let's first take a quick look at the materials and parts we'll need for the steering. Blueprints for all parts of the mechanism can be found linked in the description below. First, we'll take a section of thin 2-inch electrical PVC pipe to be flattened into PVC sheet for the mechanism's parts to be cut out of. Heating the pipe up over a stove will also help us make a straight and easy cut down the pipe. Let's hold it over the flames a little more, then unwrap and flatten the pipe into a clean plastic sheet. Now that is prepared, with a lick of school glue stick, we will stick the sheet of blueprints onto the PVC sheet. In my case, I'm having to improvise by designing and cutting out one part at a time, as in making a prototype, to end up with a complete sheet of parts for you, the viewers, to easily recreate the project. After some drying, holes must first be made, then the parts are cut out using either scissors or scoring over cuts several times with a hobby knife. Scissors just seem to do the job a little quicker when it comes to making the longer cuts. A hobby knife is required here where scissors can't reach, such as this gap as the slider limiter. Afterwards, let's sand off any rough edges for a cleaner look. Now on with heating and bending the tabs of each part that'll hold a certain rod or pipe depending on the purpose. This tab will hold a small tube for returning the slider back to the center. One pair of tabs on the base piece will hold the compound spur gear, the other pair holding the slider shaft stick with springs. Let's connect the two parts, then switching from using the stove to the soldering iron, we'll bend the slider tab around to hold a small piece of pipe from a pen, securing it in place with some super glue. This will be what loosely wraps around the slider rod with springs. Next, we will slide a section of 3mm bamboo skewer into place through the piece of pipe, meanwhile looping on the two springs. At this point, I don't recommend gluing the stick, just in case we need to make any adjustments with the springs later on. For the axle plus steering arm piece, we'll bend it out of some 2mm steel bicycle spoke. The hinging points of these pieces of wire will be cut from a section of ballpoint pen refill tube mounted in each side of the steering base. From a plastic cotton buds tube, we'll cut aside some pieces for wheel spacing and limiting wriggle. So let's bend the wire with the help of marked points to form both an axle for the wheel to sit on and a control point known as the steering arm. Here it is, one out of two complete. Now for the second one. We might just want to give a dabble of super glue to the spacers we've added on to keep them from sliding. Cutting us four small and four larger pieces of pipe in these two PVC links, we can assemble what's known as the tie rods of the mechanism linking the steering rack to the steering arm.
With those parts in place, let's give the axle hinging tubes a bit of support from some more PVC. As with all of the PVC parts used, the supports are also drawn onto the blueprint sheet. Finally implementing some gears, we'll cut off a short section of gear rack, gluing it onto the sliding piece completing the steering rack. Continuing onto the compound double spur gear, which these two tabs sticking up actually hold, just before slipping in the gear, also putting in a spacer on the gear pin will help prevent the gear from slipping around. Mounting on the motor will require a form of base, so let's use the two pieces cut out from the blueprints to give the motor something to sit on. I thought using a USB connector would be the perfect object to bend this band on to get the desired shape. Heating the piece up a little, we can shape it to fit in seamlessly with the rest of the design. As a proper platform for the motor to be fixated to, a little pad is glued on. Now we'll get this brushed motor well positioned and glued onto the platform. After testing the self-centering capability, the springs seem to do the job perfectly. We can now glue the wooden stick knowing no more adjustments are needed. Working smooth, except for how the tie rod links get the mechanism stuck, though we can fix that with a little PVC limiting the whole movement from making these bend inward. You can tell that the axles sit way more solidly now with this adjustment. So I have my electronic power supply unit out, set to the voltage of a charged lithium cell. Let's test out this cool thing. Sliding on a pair of wheels to the thing, we can cap them off from slipping off with a couple of tube pieces. This was how to make a basic but effective little steering mechanism for toy RC vehicles. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and if you did don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. As usual any needed project files are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace!